September 2006, Tammy Grogan stands among four other passengers on the cruise ship Imagination. Her mom, Bonnie, Aunt Deb, son, Jimmy, and new friend, Rebecca Morgan. Now, it seems like a happy group, but in reality, it's a complicated group with many dark secrets. Days later, Tammy Grogan would be dead. Investigators have not charged anyone in this case. However, they believe that this group knows exactly what happened to her. Jimmy Fleischman, Tammy Grogan's 14-year-old son. Now, before the cruise, Tammy had confided with family and friends that she just wasn't comfortable with the relationship that Jimmy was having with 25-year-old Craig Morgan, the brother of this woman, Rebecca Morgan, who came aboard the ship with her ex-boyfriend, Robbie Pantoja. Deb Graff, Tammy's aunt and also the former nanny for Rebecca and Craig Morgan. Bonnie Grogan, Tammy's mom who raised three daughters and a son on Sherbrooke Road in West Toledo. Now police said that before the cruise that Tammy had confided in her that she just didn't have a good feeling about this cruise. Turns out Tammy was right. In 2006, Tammy was a 35-year-old single mother working in a dental office. She bounced back and forth between her parents' home on Sherbrooke and this apartment on West Lasky Road. Jimmy was a freshman, seemingly thriving at Whitmer High School. He was well adjusted, I mean, to a point. I mean, you know, he was a kid and I hadn't had a kids around for years, but uh, he did great in school over there. All the teachers loved him. He thought he, they, they thought he was the best and whatever. And, uh, seemed like a normal kid. When he wasn't with his mom or grandparents, he was with his Aunt Sherry and Uncle Tony in Temperance, Michigan. Jimmy was a shadow with, around me at an early age. We, he would be up at our house. He'd follow me everywhere. So he was like mine on the weekend, mostly. Family told 11 investigators that Deb got more involved in Tammy's life, going to garage sales with her niece, hanging around and making up for lost time. But she was always on the phone with Craig Morgan, a 25-year-old man she used to babysit and who had a seemingly endless amount of cash. Bonnie Grogan told WTUL in 2008 that Craig said he was involved in multiple companies, but he had to keep the names of those companies secret. Tammy asked her to invite the man to the house. It ultimately turned out to be a fatal mistake for Tammy in a life-changing event for Jimmy. He loved his mom, he worshiped his mom. They were tight up until Craig came into the picture. The man who never wanted to explain all of his money showered Tammy, Deb, Bonnie, and Jimmy with it. Limos picked them up on Sherbrooke and West Lasky. Shopping trips ended with jewelry for Deb and Tammy, gifts for Bonnie, and watches for Jimmy. The way he controlled Aunt Deb and then Jimmy starting to be controlled by it. And I was like, it just made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. And I was like, I'm out, took my son. And But again, I told my mom, I said, there's something shady going on, something shady about this. You're gonna end up with policemen at your door. The words were prophetic. Though there is no official police report, Toledo police detectives told 11 investigates that Tammy and other family members grew suspicious of what they called a touchy-feely relationship, and that on May 23, 2006, police were called to Tammy's apartment. Police said that Tammy told Craig he was no longer allowed to be around Jimmy. Craig was not arrested. In fact, a background search shows that he had no criminal record at all. As far as Jimmy, Craig told police that there's nothing inappropriate about their friendship. But a little more than three months after the blow-up, Craig was still around, showering the family with gifts. The biggest gift was an all-expenses-paid trip aboard Carnival's imagination for Tammy, Jimmy, Bonnie, and Deb. Tammy was a hard-working single mom, a little bit greedy. She took, a, she took a trip she knew she probably shouldn't have taken. She had suspicions about Jimmy and Craig, and she took that trip anyway. In September of 2006, Tammy Grogan boarded the cruise ship Imagination. Now tomorrow night we're going to tell you about the final four days of her life. There was alcohol, drugs, unexpected passengers, and even raunchy parties. 
Now, when Tammy Grogan disappeared, that was only the beginning of a very strange story.